Hi, this is Don from Old Phone Works. Today, I want to talk to you about how we can use vintage rotary dial phones, like this classic 500 series from the 1960s, on today's telephone networks. Now, there are some opportunities here that we need to explore. First off, if you have a traditional landline that is delivered by an old time phone company via copper lines into your house, then chances are you'll be able to plug this phone in and use it and work and the rotary dial will work. But today, a lot of people have already got rid of their landlines. They no longer have phone service coming into their house and they re rely entirely on the cell phone. So what do we do with our rotary dial phone in that case? Well, we have come up with a solution called uh, a Bluetooth gateway. And the Bluetooth gateway is a little box that you plug in to the wall and you connect the phone to it, like so. And then when you pair this Bluetooth gateway to your cell phone, you can use the vintage phone just like it was connected to a regular line. When someone calls your cell phone, the vintage phone will ring. You can pick it up and you can answer the call and talk to the person on the phone. On the other hand, you are also able to pick up the phone, dial a number, and the call will go through. And you'll be able to talk to the person on the other end with no problem. And this is all happening through your cell phone. Uh, there's no landline involved. To pair the X-Link Bluetooth gateway to your cell phone, you first need to go to your cell phone, go to the settings, go to the Bluetooth settings, and basically put it into pairing mode. Then go to the gateway, press the Bluetooth button on the gateway until the blue light starts flashing rapidly. Go back to your cell phone and wait for the X-Link BT to come up. Accept the X-Link BT and that will pair it to your cell phone. At that point, you can pick up the handset on the phone, you'll have a regular dial tone, and you can go ahead and dial. And your call will go through just like it was on a regular landline, except in this case, you're using your cell phone. So when the phone is paired to the X-Link Bluetooth gateway and someone calls the cell phone, the vintage phone is going to ring just like it was connected to a regular landline. And you're going to be able to, oh, there it is right now. You'll be able to pick it up and talk to the person on the other end, just like you were connected to a regular landline, except it's going through your cell phone. So the X-Link Bluetooth gateway is just like any other Bluetooth device that is paired to your cell phone. It has a certain range, so it can only go so far away. It's different for each cell phone how far away that can be. Generally speaking, you know, you can you, you have a range that is going to cover your whole house. But if you have a really big house, that may not be the case. So you need to keep the Bluetooth gateway within range of your phone in order for it to work. As long as you do that, you're going to be able to pick up the handset on your vintage phone and get a dial tone and make a call. In the same vein, we also have another problem with regard to rotary dials. Even if you have a service that will recognize the rotary pulses that come from a rotary dial, you're still gonna run into difficulties when you hit a voicemail system or some system that requires you to dial numbers and it recognizes the tones. So this is a problem that is remote to your phone service. It's uh, something on the other end that, that is expecting tones and it's not gonna recognize the rotary dial. So again, when we put the pulse to tone converter in, if the uh, you have to dial, for instance, someone extension, dial extension 12, it's not going to work on the rotary dial, but if you have the pulse to tone converter installed, you're going to be able to make the call because the pulses will be converted into tones. If you need a pulse to tone converter to convert the rotary pulses that are generated by the dial, into pulses that are recognized by a modern system. We do have two versions available. Our internal version is a little module that we wire directly into a phone. It goes, attaches directly to the dial on the phone. 
and it's installed in our workshop. However, if you have a phone already and you want to be able to use it on your functional phone service, whether it be through an, a Bluetooth gateway to your cell phone or a traditional landline phone service, we do have an external version available as well. The operating instructions that we're going to provide in this video are for our internal version. We're going to be doing another video which will give operating instructions for the external version. So another challenge that we face with rotary dials is the fact that they are missing a couple of things. If you look at this dial right here, you can see it has numbers from one all the way around to zero. Great, but what happens if you have to dial star or pound? I don't think there's any star or pound on that dial, but our pulse to tone converter addresses that as well. So with the pulse to tone converter installed, we have a procedure. So for instance, if you wanna dial star, so you get a message saying, press star to continue. In this case, you would take the one, take it around to the finger stop, hold it until you hear a beep, and then release it. And that is gonna generate the tone for star. Similarly, if you get a prompt saying, press pound to continue, then you would take the two, pull it around to the finger stop, wait till you hear a beep, and then release it, and that will generate the tone for the pound. One limitation of rotary dial phones, whether they be 50 years old or 100 years old, is that they don't have memory in them. And without memory, you don't have access to features such as last number redial, or for instance, you don't have uh, uh, the ability to program speed dial numbers into the phone. But again, the pulse to tone converter that we install in the phone does have memory in it and it does allow some of that functionality. So for instance, if we wanted to do last number redial, so you've dialed a number, it's busy, you want to dial again. It's very, very easy. Just pick up the phone, dial the three, hold it until it beeps and release it. And that's going to dial the last number. So we've discussed so far how we can dial star with the phone, how we can dial pound, and how we can do a last number redial using the digits one, two, three on the dial. We still have did digits four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, and we can use those for speed dial locations. To program a speed dial location is really easy. All we have to do, pick up the handset, and let's say we wanna put a speed dial into number four. We would take the four, pull it around to the finger stop, wait for two beeps, and then release it. And then we could put in the speed dial number that we wanted to save. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to save one, two, three, four. I would then hang up the phone, and that number is now stored. So then when I go back to the phone, I can pick it up. I can pull the four speed dial location around to the finger stop, wait for one beep, and release it and that will automatically dial the number. So we now have the technology to make a vintage phone relevant to today, useful today, and something that you can pick up and make a call on today. Um, it doesn't matter whether you have a vintage phone that's 50 years old, like this one. It could also be a vintage phone that's 25 years old, like this one. It could be a vintage phone that's 75 years old, like this one, or even something that's 100 years old, like this one. We have the ability to put our pulse to tone converter in these phones and to pair them up with a Bluetooth gateway to your cell phone and use these phones, just like they were connected to an old time landline.